at 7.50. On the next fresh air, a thousand... We've only had about two-tenths of an inch of rain so far in this first significant storm of the 2015-2016 year. Um, so these guys were just installed, the, the, the uh, erosion management system was just installed, completed about um, two weeks ago, two, three weeks ago. So just in time, so there's about 10 houses here on San Como Lane in um, uh, Camarillo Springs. And so these are the areas that were having the greatest consistent flooding problem with storms over the last couple years after the 2013 Springs fire. So not a lot of movement so far but the hope is that um, this stuff will be um, controllable with these debris basins and we'll see the media is all out here uh, getting really ready to hopefully see something horrible happen. Um, it's good times. So one of the things we'd like to see in these situations is that we're prepared and that's clearly what's going on here. We only have 10 houses that were actually red tagged in the Springs fire because of the subsequent debris flows. But uh, everybody's here. We've got all kinds of media. Uh, fire department just showed up. The disaster um, response team for the city of Camarillo just, just showed up. And so uh, we have a lot of presence here, a lot of focus. And we do have a, a relatively known uh, risk. Uh, the challenges typically come when we don't understand the risks and when we don't know what's going to happen. But in this case, um, we have a pretty good idea of what's going on and everybody's paying attention uh, up and down the coast to what's going on here in Camarillo Springs. So a case of we'd like to see in terms of effective risk management and disaster response from our 